So only the Holy Spirit can keep us strong, can keep us steadfast, unmovable. That's why it is so important that the believer renew the spirit of your mind to know who the Holy Spirit is. Because once we get a good revelation, knowledge, or understanding who the Holy Spirit is, honest to goodness, you 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 will talk victory every day of your life. Yeah, yeah. You will live and act like a victory on, every day on. of your life. Because you know that you are sure to win. You know that you are more than what? Wow. See, we just know it by words. But when, until the Holy Spirit instilled in my spirit that I am more than a conqueror, it would sound good. But every time a situation comes for me to conquer, I would faint, I would complain. But when I allow the Holy Spirit to teach my spirit, the spirit of my mind, that I am more than a conqueror, come hell and high water, I know I'm going over on the other side because I'm more than a conqueror. I cannot lose because God has already established his word in heaven that we are to conquer every situation. Amen. That's why he called us, nay, in all these things, you are still more than a conqueror. Regardless of what's going on, how dim it look, just remember, you are still more than a conqueror. You was born to overcome every situation. That's why the Bible says, whatsoever, whosoever is born of God, automatically make us an overcomer. Not trying to overcome our birthright, give us the legal right wow. to overcome every situation. Yes. Wow. Yes. Keep that mind renewed. Yes. All right, man. Mm. Know that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will take good. you through and over every situation. Our problem have been flesh and blood have been trying to do what only the Holy Spirit can do. Mm -hmm. The Bible said flesh and blood cannot teach you this. He said it has to be a revelation from my mm. Father which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So flesh and blood cannot teach me how to overcome every situation. You know that. But I can tell you the Holy Spirit was sent to teach me yeah. how to overcome oh. every situation. Oh. Trust the palate and power. It's no big deal. Come on. Bible said he made us show openly out of him. See, when the Holy Spirit can train you, he'll train us to, to teach us to know the devil's not all of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God the shy. If he can do all that, why he talking to you? Just do it. Yeah. Why he want your permission? Right. Just do it. And then you'll know it. Right. Mm -hmm. But why he have to talk to you all day trying to convince you what he's going to do? Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on. Because <laughs> he wants your power. He wants your approval. Hey, hey. He wants you to prove that he can do it. Oh. Because if I can do something, I can tell you, man, I'm gonna knock your head off. If I can knock your head off, your head is off, you know I can. <laughs> you know y'all the night. But the devil, he talk mm. and he just he just uh, 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 come up with all kind of lying spirits. We're gonna deal with that. The Bible said we have the spirit of truth dwelling in us. That's what we're gonna concentrate on today and focus on today is that. But you know, I, I'm just so I don't make an excuse for what the Holy Spirit is doing in me. I just need to shut up and keep on teaching. Oh, That's all I'm going to do. Because I believe and I know what's Outreach Christian Center. Mind is renewed to know who the Holy Spirit is. I'm telling you, your whole life will change. Will change. No longer will you hope this would happen. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 come. 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 You know it's going to happen. If it ain't the word of God, you can, if it ain't the Bible, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. Because the Holy Spirit will teach us all the promise of God. Oh, yeah, and amen. So be it. Holy Spirit can only teach you that. You got to promise it. Shout the joy. Worship God. Because surely come to pass. Yes, Lord. And we will know in Isaiah 55 and 11 that God was saying, my words that go forth from my mouth shall not what return until me void. Oh, See, it would not be just in your flesh because once it's in your flesh, when you stand on the word of God, we just go back and forth. But when you know, wait a minute, that promise that God maintained from God, and God promised me that it would not return until him void. Therefore, I will stand until the cows come home. Hey, hey. 
He know how to help you. He know what to tell you to do. If you only depend upon him, depend upon his, his leadership, lead the Holy Spirit. Yes. 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 Lead me. Yes. Yeah. In the path that I should go. Who he is. Now, let's read verse John 14, verse 17. We now beginning to get into the more the teaching on the lesson on who he is, who he is. Before I do that, um, Galatians 5 25, I think it says, if we, if we live in the spirit, he said, if you live in the spirit, every person in here live in the spirit, because the Bible declares. Acts 17, 28, he said, in him we live, mm -hmm. and we move, and we have our existence. We all live in the spirit. Your flesh might tell you because it weighs your life and makes you look at your shortcoming that you are not living in the spirit. You are living in the spirit because the spirit of God dwells in you. And if I just said, I told you a few minutes ago, that oh, God. God said, no, you're not. That your body is yes. the temple of the living God and that the spirit of God lives in you. So how can you walk around without living in the spirit when your body is the temple of God and your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? So I'm going to say this again. He said, that now, if, if he said, if you live in the spirit, mean that you live in the spirit. Amen. You, we all live in the spirit. We all have the house around the spirit of God in us. Amen. He said, if you live in the spirit, now let us also what? Walk, walk in the spirit. Good God for his Because we can live in the spirit and not walk in the spirit. Yes. But you live in the spirit, but you're not walking and being led by the Holy Spirit. Come on now. That's why he said, if you live in it, and we live in it, it's approved by the word of God. Yes. But he said, now, let us also, let us also. walk. Okay. And you walk in the spirit, it means let us also be led by the Holy Spirit that was sent to teach us. John 14 and uh, 26, I'll just keep telling that so you can go home and read it for yourself. He said, I be when the Holy Ghost comes, he's going to teach you something. Yes. But you can't. We, we don't know how to teach ourselves. This Come on, man. I've been reading have not taught me anything. This, anything. I just get excited and only work with my flesh and blood. But it has yet to touch my spirit. Only the Holy Spirit can deal with another spirit. There's not a human being walking. I cannot touch your spirit. I can teach you about Jesus. I can teach you about the love of God. But I cannot get into your spirit and change your spirit. Only the words that I speak to you can get into your spirit and change you. As you receive the word that I'm saying, can't no human being make you live holy. Can't no human being change your life. Can't no human being bless you. Only the Spirit of God can teach you that you have been blessed with all the spiritual blessing in heavenly places. Can't nobody teach that to you. Only the Holy Spirit can get into your spirit and reveal that up to us. Job. He will not allow the uh, human being to teach what he's supposed to teach you. Come on, because now. it's impossible. Come you now. can't do nothing with no spirit. Okay. Come on now. You gotta teach, lady. Come on now. Honor the spirit of God. That's why he said, my words are what? Spirit and life. And they are life. Glory to God. Great television, man. Honor this life of this word. And the spirit of the word. But I have to God has sent the Holy Spirit to minister his word to us. My Lord. My Ooh, Lord. Jesus. He said, oh my God. Come on, Jesus. I promise I'm not going to be long. <laughs> okay. Hallelujah. So even the spirit. Let's read verse 17. Even the spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. Whom the world cannot receive. Mm -hmm. Because it seeth him not. Neither know of him. But ye know. For he dwelleth with you. And shall be in you. Lord, 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 <laughs> he's going to dwell in you and he's going to teach you the truth about the word of God. And not only that, he's going to teach you the truth about yourself. He's going to teach you that you're not all of that. He's going to teach you that you need to straighten up.
of your life. Amen. Right. See, he's going to teach you all things about yourself because he was sent to mold us and shape us into the image of Jesus Christ. That's it. And he have a way of molding us. He have a way of shaping us. Yes. And the Bible said, he, he, the spirit of truth dwelling in us. So you want to know the truth about yourself? I never know, damn you. <laughs> she said, Holy Spirit, will you tell me the truth about you, myself? Oh, yes. Holy Spirit said, <laughs> I'm so glad to you. I'm waiting for you to ask me that question. You said to yourself that you all of that. You said to yourself that you this and you that. He said, but I'm going to tell you the truth about yourself. Because I can't do nothing but tell you the truth. That's why he called me the spirit of truth. Because I want to tell you the truth about yourself. I cannot about yourself. I can only tell you the truth because that is my mission. My mission was not to lie to you. God sent me to tell you the truth about yourself and whatever you need to know. Yeah. 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 I know some why they gonna slip and ask So when he starts showing you yourself, don't run away. He, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. And it's the only the spirit of truth can reveal spirit to truth. Wow. To the spirit of the mind. Wow. He would feel that. He said, oh, only. Isaiah, Isaiah 41 verse 10 is a spirit to truth. I'm telling you, that flesh and blood cannot reveal to you. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's why many of God's people are so fearful. Yes. Because flesh and blood cannot reveal to you, fear not. No, hampers. I almost got it. No, hampers. I don't feel she totally no, no. It cannot reveal that to you. That's good. That's good. You can know it. You can get excited about it. You can take the church down. But until the Holy Spirit has tested you and you stand the test to know that God has not given you a spirit of fear, you will fear every time. You will fear every time. Knowing that who dwelling in you, see, when we get fearful, we forget who we are. Yes. We forget that we are the body of Christ. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. We forget who we are in Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So this teaches. I pray to God, gonna keep your mind mindful yes, Jesus. of who you are. Yes, Jesus. At no time you're gonna forget who you are. Amen. No time. So you can immediately let the devil know, nay, hey, in all these things that you try to build up against me, guess what? I'm still hey! more than a conqueror. I'm still. <laughs> Why? So you forgot. Greater is he. Greater is he. Why would God say that if he wasn't dwelling in us? He said, greater is he that is in you, dwelling in you, living in you, walking in you, than he that is in the world. Now, I know this. But until the Holy Spirit teaches to the spirit of my mind, I would run around and nothing dwell in me but hell. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I would talk down in defeat. Mm. See? But when I know the greater one yeah, that yeah. can conquer anything, that can create something out of nothing, that needs nothing to create something, yes. that same God, that same spirit dwell in me. Yes, Lord. He said, if God be for you, Hey, come on, God. This defeat cannot yeah. take me out. It can come against me, but it cannot take me out. Because if God saw me, who? 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 What devil? What demon? What principality? What problem? What situation can take me out? Because God is for me. If God is for me, and I know I'm sure to win, so I can come boldly. I can come now.
Teach us Holy Spirit. Teach us. Teach us Holy Spirit. Jesus didn't like the faith 40 days and 40 nights, but that was his lesson. 
The Holy Spirit chose to send him up there for a reason. The Holy Spirit will choose to test. You can't tell him how to test. You say, uh-uh, you want an easy test. The one that I need to give you, I done give you an easy test over and over, but you failed every one of them. I'm going to give you something that's going to knock you off your socks and you're not going to have no choice but to trust me. I'm going to put your back up against the wall if you're going to trust me or say, this is it. I have given you an easy test, but you failed. But now, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It is on. It's time for the church to be the church. Grow up. Okay. Amen. Glory. I will uphold thee with my right hand. My right hand. Lord. Okay, you might not like the right hand because it says something about righteousness. That's right. Hey, hey, hey. That hand might have uh, shocked some people. They don't like living right. Uh -huh. He said, but the only way I'm going to hold you, this, my righteousness, righteousness, I'm going to have to teach you my righteousness Woo! on the Holy Spirit. Okay, well, I'm going to close it out.